Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay and this is going to be the finals of Zotax number 284. I do apologize for not casting Warcraft, you know, back to back to back days, but, you know, I gotta, gotta get variety out, even though I only have like one other game that I upload. I might upload another StarCraft game, I don't know. I do have one recorded and, yeah, just waiting to be uploaded. So this is based on five series. Uh, uh, best of five series, uh, and the first game is going to be on the map Echo Isles. On the top left, we have Apex's Sonic, who's going to be spawning as the Yellow Knight of Player, and on the top right, we have GHC's Yumiko, who's going to be spawning as the Pink Human Player. And this is hopefully going to be short. Um, <clears throat> unlike the last series. Uh, small maps usually tend to mean small games, but, you know, like I said in the last series, it just surprisingly got longer and longer as it gradually went on. The first map for the last series was, um, was it Last Refuge or something? Yeah, it was Last Refuge. <clears throat> totally big, a relatively huge one-on-one -on -one map. That was like 10 minutes. Second game, it was Secret Valley. Smaller than Last Refuge, but it turned out to be like 16. <clears throat> and then the final game was um, on the map Ancient Isles, which was eh, kind of the same, I guess, size as Secret Valley, maybe a little bigger. But that went on for almost 30 minutes, so yeah, it doesn't really get me there. By the way, uh, I just needed some time to. I just needed something to fill in the blank time between you know, starting the game and then going on to creeping. So, over here we have the Demon Hunter coming out for Sonic. And we have the Archmage out <coughs> uh, for Yumiko. We do see a Wisp um, gathering lumber over there. He did spot out that Yumiko will be starting this mercenary camp and we can see a ton of militia coming out as well, hiring up that Shadow Priest. I really gotta find out how much they actually cost. The only thing I know is that they, they cost three food, so that's kind of huge for, uh, you know, just a healer, but meh. <coughs> Demon Hunter is trying to move out. He is going after that Shadow Priest. He does have one more lift for a mana burn. Um, before he dies, but we have a surround on that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter trying to get one more kill and possibly get Emulate as a second ability. Or he can go just go for that evasion and then try to deal as much damage as he can before a TP scroll. There we go with that level 2, and what are we going to go for? We're going to go for an Emulate right here. Um, forcing Yumiko to pull away his militia and break that surround. Very nicely done from that Demon Hunter. Honestly, I think Yumiko probably could have sacrificed one a peasant for that demon hunter kill and look at the demon hunter he's running back on possibly uh... there is no berserker so he might steal a berserker berserkers tend to be on the cooldown very soon we do have a tree of life over here very interesting the footman did spot that so yumiko possibly gonna uh... hold off on that expansion and maybe uh... apply tons of pressure early on and you know, deny that expansion. Um, either way, we did see Sonic steal that Troll Berserker. Not sure why he is still there. He probably should be used for something else. Or maybe he's just waiting there to steal another Shadow Priest. He may come out with a pair up the Vitality from this Mercenary Camp. And we'll spot that Troll Berserker whether or not he will get a Shadow Priest. No, he will not. Yumiko will get it himself. And the Berserker really needs to be careful. Doesn't want to give um, any free experience to that Archmage. <clears throat> Demon Hunter is moving on out with a TP staff and a Circle Nobility. Um, we do have a Archer Shadow Meldod right here and it looks like she's just gonna pull that off for the mercenaries to be hired from this camp. I believe. There we go. Berserker and Shadow Priest. Players' forces are under attack. 
We can see Yumiko <coughs> clearing out this creep camp, but we do notice that there is no militia out um, helping this creep, so we are probably not going to expand for Yumiko. Ah, throat is a little bit choppy, but I can't really help it. I kind of over exceeded my fizzy drink quota, so yeah. Mana burn on the Archmage, he does not have enough mana for another elemental, but that will not matter as he will soon replenish that for a brilliance or with that brilliance aura. Okay, militia, I'm moving out. We might even just go for a tower push right here, or maybe he might tower push right here. Dunno. Or if Yumiko is really that kind of guy, he's going to expand on his uh, opponent's expansion. Okay, Sonic, not that many units, 34 versus 41. Now we gotta uh, take into the fact that these peasants are also joining in the fight, while these wisps can't really attack at all, and if they do detonate, they will be sacrificing themselves. Unfortunately, there was no detonate right there. Probably could have gone off on that elemental. Um, would have been some experience to that demon hunter. I mean, he's only level 2. While the Archmage is at level 3, it's not that good at all. We'd have double berserkers for Sonic, so it's going to be a lot of piercing damage. Defend will do very nicely uh, for Yumiko's footman, and oh, very close right there, getting or would have been surrounded. And we're going to place some towers right here for Yumiko. Uh, Wisp is going to hire up that Shadow Priest. Is going to fight himself against well, a fight against a footman. It looks like he's just going to heal those. The footman's not getting any damage whatsoever. Demon Hunter going for another mana burn, denying any kind of all elementals. And there we go, that surround emulate is going to be used. And possibly a TP scroll is going to be forced right here. There we go with the TP scroll. Demon Hunter cannot die just quite yet. Ah, cannot die just quite yet. Um, he is a pretty much valuable asset to this, and we see that uh, attribute drop right there, so, you know, not much mana from those moon wells will be used on that demon hunter alone. We, I believe, had a couple of towers being destroyed. One guard tower is halfway completed, but most likely will be focused as, you know, Sonic really can't let that tower go up. As you can see, all these footmen are defend mode, and this is going to be a little difficult. Every single unit for Sonic is piercing, except for that Ancient of War and Demon Hunter. And the last tower for Yumiko will fall. 3 1 will go up. Yumiko, not going to tier 2 just quite yet. Not sure if that's a smart move or not. I'm um, sticking to tier 1 and not expanding. I mean, who knows? Maybe he, his tower push might fail, and he has no way to actually get back into this game. Meanwhile, Yumiko, I mean, Sonic, his Demon Hunter is still ever so slightly low, almost in the brink of death, and ooh, very close right there, just drinking the last sips of that Moonwell, and able to live for quite some, I guess, time. Archer will take down a Fumin, but the Demon Hunter will go after that Archmage, unfortunately it will not be the case as the Archmage does survive with 80 health, and the Demon, uh, and the Demon Hunter gets taken down at level 2. GG from Sonic, and that is going to be game. Nicely done, I must say. Um, Yumiko, very nice on scouting that expansion, but Sonic... Come on, your expansion was scouted. You really could have done something, like make more archers or something like that. Oh well. Anyway, I'll see you guys in game two. Bye-bye.